What is the difference between REM and ROM? To understand the difference between REM and REM first let's just understand. What is REM and ROM? REM and REM are memory chips. RAM stands for Random Access Memory because information is accessed randomly instead of sequentially. RAM is also called as Read and Write Memory that means we can write the data to the RAM and can also read the data from RAM. ROM stands for Read Only Memory. What does it use for? Memories are used to hold the data or we can say store the data or content. What does it require to hold the data? RAM does require constant power to retain the data, so in case of power failure or when system shuts off, it loses its data that is why RAM is known as volatile memory. Whereas ROM does not require constant power, so ROM is known as non-volatile memory. Where it resides in a computer. If you open up your CPU, you will see heatsink at the top of the motherboard, and your RAM slots will be there only right next to it. Either two or four memory slots will be there. ROM is located on the motherboard, small chip will be there. Who programs this memory? Manufacturer of the motherboard programs ROM. Once it is programmed it cannot be reprogrammed. What does RAM and ROM contain? RAM contains active program or processes. RAM contains BIOS programs. By the way BIOS program help to load operating system to RAM and stands for basic input output system. Now let's talk about types of these memories. RAM have static RAM and dynamic RAM. Static RAM is more expensive but it is faster than dynamic RAM. Dynamic RAM is less expensive but slower. Let us talk about why dynamic RAM is slower and less expensive. In a dynamic RAM chip, each memory cell is made up of a very small transistor and a capacitor. The capacitor holds the bit information, that automatically discharges. So to hold this data before it refreshes thousands times in a second, which makes it slow. That does make sense right? Now let us just talk about why static RAM is faster and more expensive. In a static RAM, a form of flip-flop is used that uses four or six transistors, that does not require to be refreshed, which makes it faster than dynamic RAM. Since it has more parts static RAM is more expensive. RAM are classified as PROM which means programmable ROM, EPROM which stands for electrically erasable and programmable ROM. This PROM will come as blank chip it can be programmed by the end user once it is programmed it will be same as ROM. A ROM can be erased and reprogrammed. Writing process to ROM is slower. In modern system RAM which is used is dynamic RAM and ROM which is used as a ROM or flash memory. Let's talk about size. RAM are available in sizes such as 2 GB, 4 GB, 16 GB or even 32 GB. RAM are generally in MB's 4 MB or 8 MB. RAM and RAM uses. RAM is used to hold active process, used for temporary purpose. The more RAM you have, the more things your computer can do at the same time. ROM plays an important role in booting up the system. BIOS program is located in ROM. Important to remember we should not confuse hard disk with RAM. Hard disk is a storage device which permanently store the data until you delete it, however RAM stores data temporary. Why do we need RAM when you have hard disk? Accessing RAM is thousands time faster than hard disk, that's why the program does not execute it from hard disk directly, instead, first it will go to RAM and from RAM it will be executed. We store the data in the hard disk because we do not want to run all the applications same time. For example, if you have thousands of document or video files you will only open the one which you want to work with. So let's take an example of Word. Double click on any Word document file, now once it's open it will be loaded into the RAM. If you are typing something or making any changes in the document, you are changing in RAM, not in hard disk. Now if you save it then only these changes will be loaded in the hard disk. So in short whatever program or process that is active is in RAM. Let me give you one example to understand it in a better way. Just think of a bank and a wallet where bank being hard disk and wallet being RAM. 
so your bank account will have lots of money, same way hard disk will have lots of data or files. But your wallet will have only few bucks that you want at the time, same as RAM have only running processes. And why do you do that? Because accessing wallet money is easy and fast right? Then to access your money at bank, 